welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account and we are looking at the Temporal Rift. Now overall guys, we have two weeks left. That is right guys, we only have two weeks left and the Grand Hunt is currently up. Now one thing guys, we do have 12 days, almost 13 days on this Grand Hunt. So there is going to be a guide that is going to be coming out shortly. Big reason we don't put it out right now guys is we do not want to um, have you go ahead and do this hunt, use all of your challenges in here, and then build up your temporal beacons a lot higher. So we do have, again, 14 days to really push the temporal hunt or the um, temporal rift to get a lot more essence out of there is what we're looking to do, guys. Um, overall, it seems it's going to be a combination of support, mage, and warrior. When it comes to the final build, we're going to have to see exactly where this badge addiction comes in. That is usually the one that is kind of a game changer when it comes to the formations. But the Grand Hunt right now, there are all five teams that are up. And again, looking at the badges, if you want to get into it, you definitely can. The teams overall are pretty, pretty decent. I mean, honestly, even in here, we have Scarlet, which is pretty easy to build. We have Oden in here, which again, kind of meta within the formation. Um, we have the original version of Taylene, of course, with Orthos. Some variations like that to come. Um, Izold is in here. And then we have Anasta as well as the Awakened version of Solus. And then we have um, Entendre with Grez. And again, not, not a huge high investment team. Even looking here, we have Solus. We have what? I, I think Solus was the only one. So the Awakened version of Solus. I'm not seeing the Awakened version of Brutus. I'm not seeing Thane. I'm not seeing Baden, um, which of course, those can be some subs that you're putting in there depending on the builds. But again, um, not seeing a lot of the Awakened heroes in there, which is very cool to see. Now today, we're going to be looking at the Temporal Rift. So I went through, guys, we're on 473. I've made actually a lot of progression in here. I'm going to run through the teams that I'm utilizing, and they've been working incredibly, incredibly well. So looking here, guys, this is kind of my first team. And of course, the Awakened Heroes are going to do a considerable amount of damage. Now, the big thing is, guys, I didn't really level up fast enough going through here, meaning that my badge levels at level 29 are almost on par, but still, I, I'm still considerably behind um, where we're at. So the first team, guys, we have Lucretia, the Awakened version of Thane. We have um, Silas in here. We have Mortis, and then we have Athelia. Very, very strong combination. You can actually move Athelia depending on the targets you have within this battle. And a lot of these guys just takes retries. Th there is an incredible amount of retries um, when you're going through here. But Mortis buffs them up. Silas keeps them up, of course, as a buffer and a healer. Works incredibly well. Thane doing a lot of damage. Athelia doing almost 3 billion there. Definitely some solid damage within the formation. Now, this one is kind of unique. So, players were running the Awakened version of Baden. I was actually running Frampton in here, which did work pretty well. Um, I kind of went back between Frampton and Geralt. Now, I wish I did have that 9 of 9 furniture on Geralt for the crowd control aspect. But overall, he's been doing pretty well. He's actually been pretty solid um, with the pushbacks, with the knocksbacks. Then, of course, guys, we have the twins for the super cycle. Aziz will just literally put everyone together in here, and Geralt just burns them through. He really, really is a very strong hero. Within a certain couple of game modes, you can see, though, we're running triple support in the back, which works, again, incredibly well. But looking at the damage, almost 11 billion damage from Geralt, again, we utilize Frampton kind of in a very similar aspect that we're using Geralt right now, which did work incredibly well. Now, I've been getting a ton of questions about what teams I am running in here. Um, this one, the Awakened version of Solus. Now, this is actually a pretty broken team because we have the Awakened version of Solus. We do have Rosaline following Solus. Um, so essentially, she will never stop ulting, provided the immunity with Alna. This is, again, a very, very strong team. Um, that has been working well. Now, the trouble with this one is when you're running into some heroes, especially right here, guys, when you have Mizoth or when you have Brutus, um, the immunities, if you're fighting Ulna versus Ulna, it can also be a little bit detrimental as well. Kind of hard to get through those combinations, but literally, guys, the Awakened version of Solus just carries it through here. So even if you're not running five teams at this point, which you should be if you've been doing progression, um, it will work incredibly well. Now, another team that I look at, guys, is the original version of Taylene. Now, we've seen it in the Grand Hunt. We see it in the Temple Rift. We've seen it within a lot of the Cursed Realm comps. I am still pretty shocked that the original version of Taylene um, is still utilized in just so many places. 
her support aspect still comes through. You stack beacons behind it. You stack badges behind it. You stack, you know, relics behind it. She does incredibly well and she does a lot of damage and she still does a lot of healing, which I love to see. We have a star in here, of course, for the damage mitigation. Friend for the crowd control, guys. His crowd control can just lock it down. Even if Taylene dies, um, doesn't make a difference because she comes back to life after the end of the battle, which works incredibly well. Even their 10 billion damage. You can see, guys, Peanut didn't do nothing by the time the mitigation was up. The fight was pretty much over. But one thing to note, guys, is we're not seeing the awakened version of Taylene in very many comps anymore, which is, again, kind of interesting that we're still seeing that original version of Taylene within here. And then this one is Ezio combined with support from Halos, support from Merlin, support from Joan, and then Anasta. So Anasta is the driving force in here, guys. With her Brawler's Protection, she does an incredible amount of damage. You can see she picks up massive buffs right in the beginning. So she actually picks the, up the buff from Halos right in the middle. But looking back here, Joan is doing healing. Merlin's doing healing. Um, it, Halos is blocking everything. And Ezio was the finisher, guys. Look at the damage. 8 billion damage, 4 billion damage. Between um, Anissa and Ezio, they've literally been going back and forth, almost fight for fight for fight, um, which is very, very cool to see, making more progression. And again, we're going to continue going through floors. Even looking here, guys, we're at 29 right now. We have to get a little bit higher um, to be able to actually build these out and get them kind of set. Going through things like the Blessed Realm is just going to give you resources. And again, the, the reason why we were kind of taking, which there's a level 30, um, let's take, I'm thinking in here, you know what, let's take, I'm going to take Anasta. I'm going to take Anasta up to 30 which of course is gonna give us a stronger badge. But like I was saying, guys, this is the reason why we're farming it right here. It is the essence that we wanna get out of here because the essence is going to allow me to build out, actually um, build out a lot more of our Temporal Beacon and specifically building out a lot more of the Grand Hunt. So within probably the next day or two, we'll have a Grand Hunt guide. We'll have it out. We'll, we'll go through all of these um, all of the uh, beacons that we're going to put in here and also kind of the combination some counter combinations in there that way we can go through and we can actually do this grand hunt again we're, we're waiting for this at the moment just because i want you to push the temple rift if you're really looking if it's a game mode you hate even going in here guys the fountain of time you're going to get more essence temple rift pushing you're going to get more essence this is going to be a big way to build up before we do get into that final grand hunt all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Just wanted to show you the five teams that I've been running and I've been using within here. I'm going to go ahead and challenge this, guys. I'm going to let it run on auto, see where I can take this to. I'm thinking probably 20 to 10 to 20 floors, I hope, at least. So again, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.